Hello views we are very glad that you to be here. Welcome our channel health today. Holding pee for too long can weaken pelvic floor muscles and increase risk of bladder problems. During a night of drinking after throwing back a few beers, we break the seal, or follow our urge to pee. Once we open the floodgates, our bladder control weakens, as we run back and forth between the bar and the bathroom for the feel-good release. One too many bathrooms breaks later, we try to hold in our pee, but science suggests this could significantly damage our bladder over time. Urge to urinate can weaken our pelvic floor muscles that work to keep our bladder sealed, until we're ready to go. The external urethral sphincter, one of the pelvic floor muscles, provides support to the urethra and bladder neck. This muscle, along with others, prevents bladder leakage that could otherwise occur from the pressure of coughing, sneezing, laughing, or jumping. How pee travels through the body. Surrounding the bladder are several organs that make up the urinary system, including two kidneys, two ureters, two urethral sphincters, and a urethra. Urine trickles down from the kidney, funneling it down into the two muscular tubes known as the ureters. The ureters are responsible for carrying the urine downward into the bladder. The detrusor muscle, the wall of tissue in the bladder, relaxes the bladder, allowing it to inflate like a balloon. Therefore, when the bladder gets full, the detrusor contracts, and the internal urethral sphincter automatically and involuntarily opens, leading to the release of urine. Holding in your pee. Once the urine enters the urethra, it stops short at the external urethral sphincter, similar to a tap. When we delay urine, we keep the sphincter closed, we voluntarily open the floodgates when we release it. Stretch receptors inside the layers of the detrusor muscles send signals along our nerves to the sacral region of the spinal cord, triggering a reflex signal to travel back to the bladder. This increases the bladder's pressure, so we know it's filling up, causing the internal urethral sphincter to open simultaneously, known as the micturition reflex. The brain can tell if it's a good time to urinate by sending another signal to contract the external urethral sphincter. We get the urge to pee when there's about 150 to 200 milliliters inside the bladder, 400 to 500 milliliters will make us feel very uncomfortable. Although the bladder can keep stretching, above 1000 milliliters it can burst. The verdict. Holding in pee for too long, forcing the urine out too fast, or urinating without proper physical support, that is, squatting, can weaken or overwork the pelvic floor muscles over time. This can lead to an overactive pelvic floor, bladder pain, urgency or urinary incontinence. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, scribe.